Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto. Today, we're going to continue on with our beautiful series over here. Can we even ROI inside Mobox.io? So, um, just got to be honest with you guys. So far, this uh, Mobox BNB staking feels or seems a lot better uh, than the staking of Mbox Mac. And I'm also happy that I removed when I did because the price at the moment is just like, oof, the price of mech is just, I don't, I don't understand, dude. I don't understand it. So it's so bad. It went down so much. But Mobox went down also quite a bit, though. Um, and I assume it's because uh, there are so many issues inside Telegram about people complaining about when they buy Momos. Um, there's no way for them to move it from the uh the what's it momo farmer so that it would be on momo farmer and inside uh the momo verse so there's a lot of bugs at the moment that a lot of people are complaining about but obviously it is the holiday weekend or the holiday um season per year or whatever so yeah admins is, or the developers is most probably most of them are on holiday and stuff like that, so it get very hard for them to actually get to fix these things, and I think that is why Mobox is going a little bit more down than other cryptos. Uh, let me just have a look over here what CMC is saying about other cryptos. Uh, let's just see your cryptocurrencies, because it might just be it might just be everything. I mean, Cardano took a big hit today. Um, let me just check here, uh, Mobox. Yeah, it, it, it took a big hit. Um, went from 38 cents to 37 and almost dropped a full cent. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people complaining about stuff, but, uh, it's going to take a while before it's fixed, you know, and people have to understand that it's holiday weekend or holiday season or whatever. Uh, so yeah, people are taking off. Uh, time at work, spending time with their family. Not everything has to be 100% all the time, you know? There's going to be bugs, and people just have to understand that. But anyway, um, the video for today is I'm going to stake a lot more uh, Mbox BNB. Uh, so the season ended of Chain Z Arena, and um, I had almost 500 Mbox staked. So I withdraw uh, 400 and from that so i'm gonna put it in here uh, because uh on chain z arena it, it does auto compound it's it's nice uh, but the thing is i need i need monthly income so i need to move it here at the moment um the ultimate goal that i want is for example you can see my hash power i want to claim this also oh man it's now 0 0.77 that is ridiculous this number keeps getting lower. I'm gonna hide it. That number keeps getting lower, dude. 0 0.77 per thousand hash. That is crazy slow. Uh, my scroll button is broken, so... Scroll up, dude. What the heck? Um, so yeah, I wanna... Ultimately, what I wanna do is, all the income I make of Mobox, I wanna actually put it into this pool right here. Um, you know, I want to get it into the Mobox BNB pool that I have and then live off of the rewards interest that I'm getting. I don't know if it's possible, to be honest. Uh, it, I mean, it is possible. It's just gonna, it's gonna take a while for it to build up. Uh, so roughly you need one year worth of income and then some as well, because it's not a hundred percent. The AP, APY is not a hundred percent. Um, so you need, you need almost a year and a half worth of income. And then uh, you'll be able to live off of this. But the problem is, every April there's a halving event. So then you need pretty much double the amount to sustain the same living expense. So every year you need to get doubled, uh, if that makes any sense. So I don't know if eventually we'll get there. Uh, but if Mobox goes up a lot or enough, uh, this is actually possible. So... I'm going to go over here to the exchange uh, to PancakeSwap. Uh, you can see I have 513 Mobox. So normally what you can just do is just click on 50% and that should be fine. 
uh, changing that uh, 50% right there. I like to take one more um, one more Mobox. Uh, the reason being is because of gas fees and stuff like that. So I just add one more to the Mobox that we're going to sell to BNB. So I'm going to just do that. Uh, confirm swap. And then obviously this box comes up saying, hey, are you sure? And then obviously, yes, we need to swap that. So now I'm just going to go back. Now this pancake swap part is done. I'm just going to go back to the uh, mobox.io. I'm going to click on deposit on the left side and then add liquidity, the, uh, the blue button right there. And then you just click on max inside the mobox. If uh, the add liquidity part for you is grayed out, that means you don't have enough of the pair that you want to pair it with. Uh, in this case, it will be BNB. So just keep that in mind. If it's grayed out, then obviously you don't have enough BNB or whatever you pair it with, depending on which one you clicked on max. <laughs> so, and then the, the liquidity is now created. And now all you got to do is stake it. So I'm going to click on deposit over here, 100% and deposit. And then that is done so. Nice. That is very good, very good. So now this number will change. That number changed. This number will change now once I open and close it. So now we can see we have reached 1 BNB already. The, that's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, and yeah, now this should be going from the Mobox BNB part to the loot part again, uh, like I showed you guys before. Uh, but yeah, it's not a big deal. It's just when I claim, it's going to claim everything in here uh, as if it never happened. So, But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you had a fantastic Christmas. Um, and hopefully you'll have a fantastic New Year's Eve. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>